Hello and welcome to Mythical Meeples. Today we'll be having a close at the Stormlight Premium Miniatures Rhythm of War collection from Brotherwise Games. Within the Rhythm of War collection we get seven figures. We can see painted up on the back here. So we get Adeline, Maya, Vaya, Kaladin, Benly, Navani and Teft. So in an age of storms and war the Knights Radiant must stand again. Stormlight Premium Miniature celebrates the unforgettable characters of Brandon Sanderson's epic fantasy series, The Stormlight Archive. Developed in close partnership with Dragonsteel, these miniatures feature the first ever official designs for many of the book's most iconic characters. The Rhythm, Rhythm of War collection includes Shadesmar Adeline, Shard Plate Kaladin, Maya Laren, Navani, Vaya, Venli, and Teft. Whether you prefer to collect, display, or paint these miniatures, the perfect way to commemorate the fourth book of this remarkable series. So without further ado, let's have a look inside. So here we can see all seven unpainted characters. You've got Navani, Maya, Fire, Adeline, Venli, Kaladin and Teft. So let's have a look at each of them individually now. First we're going to look at Navani. So to me here she looks very much like a scholar. And I really love this depiction of her. I love the sort of tiled base she's got. It's really detailed and unique. And I think it really captures her character in the Rhythm of War well. She looks like she's in the middle of sort of thinking and using her hands to sort of uh, express her ideas. And I think it's a really, really clever portrayal of her. Next we have Maya. And this is a character I did not expect to see, um, but I really, really love what they've done with her. If you look at her face, you can sort of see sort of the expression of her mouth compared to her eyes. And I feel like perhaps this represents her at the trial um, or it could you know, just represent her at any point throughout the series of books. I love the sort of torn, tattered clothing look she's got compared to the other characters. And I think it really, really emphasises her role in the books. Next, we have Vaya. Now, for me, his pose makes him look really sort of awkward and uncomfortable. And initially, I didn't really like it that much. But the more I look at it, the more I feel like it kind of fits with his character and his development. And I love the fact he's sort of got the uniform very much like the Bridge 4 uniform as well. I think they've done a really, really good job of him overall. Next we have Adeline and you can see here he's out of his shard plate and he's got his, uh, I suppose more sort of regal uniform that he'd wear for display. I love the sword that they've got here. He looks like he's sort of in the middle of dueling or fighting. Um, I think it's really, really great representation of him. I love sort of how ornate his robes are and I think they're just really cleverly designed as well. Adeline is one of those characters that sort of, you might not like him to start with, but he definitely grows on you and you come to love him throughout the series. I feel like a lot of the characters do this. Next we have Venli and I love what they've done with her. You can almost sort of see her inner conflict in her pose. Um, just the way she's holding herself. Sort of like she belongs to sort of neither the humans or the listeners or the singers really. And let's follow her own path. I love the sort of characterization of her. Visual representation of her is really, really clever. Love all the sort of flowing robes they've got, which they've got on some of the other singers like Leshwi. Um, and I love her staff that she's got as well. It's a really clever design. Next, we have the bridge boy, Kaladin, in his shard plate. I love how detailed they've gone with the shard plate, how you can clearly see where it's supposed to be glowing. Uh, it's a really, really clever design love his spear, love the way they sort of made the flowing of the clouds and the air around him. So well designed. I 
I'm really looking forward to painting this one up. Finally, we have Teft. Teft has really grown on me throughout the series and end of book four definitely made me cry. Let's just put it that way. I love how they've, you know, got the wooden floor that they've got on all of the bridge four characters, whilst at the same time really emphasising the fact that he's flying as well. Such a clever model. And I love the fact he's got his bridge four uniform on as well. So that is it for this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you found it helpful. Um, if you do, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. This helps me grow as a channel, be seen by more people, and it's always really good to hear your feedback as well. And if you want to see more from me, then head over to mythicalmeeples.com where there's access to loads of extra content. And if you want to support me as well, you can become a patron. Um, there's links in the description for both of those. And if you become a patron, you'll gain access to extra content, sneak previews and behind the scenes as well. So for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.